G'day Michael here. I had this banding problem as you can see on the right hand block here on my little uh, GTEC i3. Um, now I had a bit of an error in a previous video I uh, made about uh, you know um, talking about, about banding being uh, countable well basically the resolution in height that is still true but it's not as true as I thought it was in this case about two-thirds of my trouble was in fact because it would not go away regardless of my uh, choices about two-thirds of it was in fact a wobble in the z-axis screw on the left hand side of my i3 now just take a good look at these parts this top part is the replacement part which I've designed and uh, I'll upload the part to Thingiverse in a minute but uh, in any case this video is about actually about this com this component which I will have on uh, thinking very shortly versus the metal one which I expected the metal one to be a superior product but I've, I've printed this guy here on my um, Delta and you can see there's no banding in the Z axis it's basically layer for layers beautiful even with the improvements I made on the Prusa there's a small amount of banding but some of that's actually because uh, it's a bit irregular some of it's I believe slop in the y-axis travel on the table but in any case you can see the metal one and what it was responsible for and the uh, 3d printed plastic one which you can actually print print on the machine even if it is producing this banding because it'll still have the same primary characteristics and that is to keep everything in alignment these flexible metal uh, flexible metal mountings allow the screw to, to whip off in funny angles they're designed to be flexible now that would be okay if the thread was mounted in a bearing uh, top and bottom and this flexible mounting was just providing a rotational uh, drive on that thread but here they're trying to use them to actually create the precision unfortunately as I speak I'm shaking the camera I'm trying to hold steady but here we go alright well I'll just go to the computer and show you the image of that here you can see the part rotating the bottom part of the hole is 5mm for the stepper you can see the recesses the blue part, as it comes around, the blue part you'll see is uh, a normal 3.2 millimeters, so it clears the thread. And the red uh, part drilled through is uh, 2.5, so you can use a 3 millimeter tap to cut a thread. And when you're cutting the thread, use something like, uh, I don't know, a spray and wipe, or even just water, just to keep the plastic from um, binding on the thread tap. The top hole as it comes around, give me a second, is 8mm to match the typical um, z-axis thread. Now let's have a look at the machine itself. Okay, so what you can see here is the coupler replaced. Now I've just found a couple of 3mm um, screws and you can see what it's doing is clasping. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. You can see it's clasping that top thread and the 3D printed one is producing a much better precision than the metal one did. I um, I think it is because I have a secondary locking screw. Now these screws aren't under a much um, torsional force, they're very easy to rotate so I don't know why they have to have those locking screws but I think the locking screws may have been part of the problem. Um, in any case these being a stiff part and having the top, this one's an acrylic frame one so I've just put a dot of uh, like any old grease, this happens to be high temperature adhesive grease, but um, yeah, it's basically just keeping that aligned at the top. So now there's very minimal wobble as it rotates. Unfortunately, it's against the back, uh, black background, so it's a bit hard to see. How does this side work? Maybe you can get another a view of that focus. Now, this one, this, this one actually was printed on this um, i3 after I replaced just this first one. This one was printed on the Cricut, which is a Delta, and you can see there's no banding. It's just actually the way the Delta prints. And after just replacing that one screw, I was able to print on the i3 this grade of a finish. And I swapped out, obviously, this one once it had finished printing, but, focus, um, but I noticed no improvement after changing this one. So I really the worst of my whip was from this side. Now there's a, a secondary part to this problem, and that is the screw moves around, but the bushing here is, what can I show that? Probably not enough to show. 
there's there's sort of slop in this bushing and that screw is able to move the the z-axis arrangement uh, left and right that little bit and that was enough to produce that awful banding so anyhow since I've changed these parts I'm getting much better prints this is like I said a, a part printed on this machine even with only just one of them uh, replaced so I, I guess um, that's enough for this video but that's this kind of improvement you can expect out of this change I mean you could go further putting decent linear rails and all that sort of thing but this got rid of sort of uh, you know 80% of my troubles um, yeah well feel free to like share subscribe um, send this video to someone else that needs to fix the same problem now this would apply to any of these sorts of machines where you've got like two threads of this style even even uh, some of the, the longer pitch lead screws it'll, it'll apply to the same sort of um, any of the same sort of design well I hope this is of interest to you feel free to like share subscribe and help out a friend that's it for me bye now